Okay, let's look at exercise B, which says the, these are selected accounts from X Station Limited, and these are the balances of the 30th of June, actually 2016, uh, that should say 2016, so that um, should be 16 as well, there's an error. Alright, so my dividend payable, I've got dividends payable, general reserves, interim dividends, what am I supposed to do here? It's asking me to prepare a fully classified equity section of a balance sheet as at the 30th of June 2017. So what I now need to look at is, uh, what have we got here? We've got a few bits of additional information. So what I'm looking for is, what's my equity accounts? So let's have a look. Dividend payable, well that's a liability account, it's a current liability. My general reserve, that's part of equity. Uh, my interim dividend, is a uh, payable, so that'll be um, uh, that'll be uh, current liability. Inventory is a current asset. Long-term bank loan is a non-current liability. Provision for long service leave is a non-current liability. My retained earnings is um, an equity. Revenue received in advance is a current liability, and my share capital is also equity. Let's have a look at my additional information. It says profit for the year ended 30th of June uh, amounted to 9750 Well, I know my profit ends up in my equity, so it's going to be equity. The market value less cost to sell the inventory is 12500 Well, that's current assets, so I don't have to worry about that. X station decided to transfer 5000 from retained earnings to general reserves. Well, that's equity and that's equity, so that's going to be part of my equity calculation. And the company also declared a final dividend of five cents per share on the 30th of June 2017. And I know that um, dividends get paid out of retained earnings, which is part of equity. All right, so let's do this. First things first, I'm going to really have to work out because there's a few things that have happened in my retained earnings. So I'm going to um, work out what my retained earnings are. My retained earnings now at the 1st of the 7th, my retained earnings balance was 15700 I can tick that off. Um, now we're going to add in the profit for the year, which is 9750 So I'll add my profit, 9750 so I'll tick that off. Um, X station decided to transfer from retained earnings. So we're going to take out of here transfer of 5,000. Now I'm going to bracket the figure to indicate it's less than. And let's tick that off. The company also declared a final dividend of 5 cents per share. Now that 5 cents per share is going to pertain to these 100,000 shares. So that's going to give me a dividend, which I'm going to take out of my um, retained earnings of 5000 Okay, so what does that give me? I've got 15700 Oops, no, that doesn't... 700 uh, plus my profit of 9750 minus my... Um, transfer to general reserves minus my dividend, which gives me fifteen thousand four hundred and fifty. So that becomes my retained earnings balance. Now there was one other change, which was this five thousand dollar transfer to general reserves. So that's got to affect that figure up there, which is transfer to general reserves. So I'm going to add plus five more thousand there, which will give me nine thousand eight hundred dollars. Okay, so let's now, so now that I've got that bit done, my um, X station limited, my equity section of my balance sheet is what I'm preparing, and when we prepare it, we put capital or share capital first, and my share capital is $100,000. So I'm tick that one off. 
The next thing I'm going to put is my retained earnings. So I'm going to add in retained earnings. And I don't have to put that ad there, uh, which is 15450 And then my general reserve. General, doesn't go over me. My general reserve, which we calculated doing 9800 Let's add all those up. 100000 Plus 15,450 plus 9,800 equals 125,250. And there's my equity balance.